When you lose a loved one, there are many things that change in your life. However, there's one change one East Texas woman was not expecting. After the passing of her husband, her home and car insurance skyrocketed, seemingly for no reason. KLTV's Alex Weister tells you that now she's warning others. Pam Kuchta is a retired nurse who lives in Cherokee County. In 2021, Pam was struck with tragedy after her husband, Jimmy Kuchta, passed away from a rare form of cancer. In the following weeks, she worked on changing the auto and home policies from their joint names into her name, then received a letter informing her of the policy change with an increased rate for her home. And I said, what policy change? I just gave you a different name on the policy from my husband. And he said, it is because in the state of Texas, there is no checkbox for widow on the insurance forms. You're either married or single. The policy increased for car insurance as well. Kuchta says that's despite a clean driving history. The total increase of her policies being over $100 a month. Kuchta's insurance had no option to separate her between single and married, forcing her into the single classification and having her deemed a higher risk driver. Trying to find answers and help led Kuchta to Texas Appleseed, a nonprofit who aims to help those dealing with state policy issues. Looking into the problem, Texas Appleseed found that this isn't just an issue Pam Kuchta is facing. So many people don't even realize that this is something wrong that's happening to them when people are in, are in the throes of grief and in a crisis. They just deal with what comes their way. And so too many people get hit by this penalty and they don't realize that maybe there's something that can be done about it. The increase of insurance for widows is already gone in a few states, with those state legislatures prohibiting insurance companies from raising rates on widows higher than when they were listed as married. Texas is not one of those states, leaving it to insurance company discretion. They question whether the rate hike for going from married to widowed is simply due to being deemed a higher risk, not driving history. Shopping around for new insurance while grieving can be a lot and wipe out all the trust built in with the previous company. The Texas Appleseed Group says this leaves it to the state to help provide a solution, but so far there's nothing slated for lawmakers to consider. In the end, these are not equations or groups of numbers. These are people and people's lives. These are products that people are required to carry. And we have to have just standards. Alex Weister, KLTV 7 News. We reached out to the Texas Department of Insurance, but they said they would not comment on the matter today. They instead urged people with home or auto insurance issues to contact them. For more information, you can scan the QR code on your screen or you can head directly to KLTV.com and then click on this story, which you can find by clicking on the big red box.